Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are live in Moscone Center with 40,000 security experts at the RSA conference, the biggest conference of its size, one of the biggest tech conferences in the industry, second maybe only to Salesforce and Oracle. So there's a lot of people here, a lot of action. Absolutely. We're excited to be joined by the president of RSA, Rohit Guy. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. So first thing, kind of impressions of the show. We were here briefly last year, I think it was 34,000. This year they're saying it's 40. 40,000, yeah. Look, uh, you know, RSA has the great burden and privilege of bringing the cybersecurity community together. And it's a true testimonial to the caliber of the people that this year we are able to attract uh, 40,000 people. Uh, we, are, we have almost 500 plus, 550 something, I believe, vendors and exhibitors. Uh, and, and the level of the conversation in terms of you know the CISOs from different countries, the you know the the CISOs from all the mega corporations, public sector participants, the entire gamut of cybersecurity stakeholders are here today. Yeah, it's an interesting kind of take because on one hand you think there's so many people, but as a few people have mentioned earlier, really they're all here. So and on the grand scheme of things. It's not that many people, it's really this group of people, exactly. and they all know each other, people are all you know, giving each other hugs as they're walking up and down the booth, so this really is it. This is a community, and it's a tight-knit community, it's, the, it's the, all the good guys assembling together to figure out what to do about the <laughs> I bad know. guys. I just hope they all don't go to the bad <laughs> side at the same time, we'll be in trouble. One Absolutely. of the things that comes up over and over at tech conferences specifically, and here too, is the ecosystem. Yeah. Right? Nobody can do it alone. You've got yep. to have an ecosystem, yep. and there's a lot of conversations about sharing information more yep. broadly, yep. more automated, faster. Yep. Yep. Really an important part of the strategy to fight the bad guys. Absolutely, you know, in fact, that was a recurring theme from all the keynote speakers this morning. You know, the notion of working together. The only shot we have of beating the bad guys is if we collaborate and share the information that we have uh, and go at it together. So the ecosystem is super important to your point. Yeah, so what are some of the kind of, for the people that aren't here, yeah. kind of the key themes, some of the big announcements that RSA's making? I know yeah. the, the press release feed yeah. is full this morning, yeah. but what are, you guys, uh, what are you guys excited about for uh, this year? Look, what I'm most excited about is a new approach. And I'll t here's, here's, the, here's the way I tee it up. You know, the, the, the bad guys are getting really good, right? Uh, every company is going digital, and digital companies are really juicy targets. Uh, we don't have enough good guys to fight on our behalf, enough trained good guys, uh, which means you have to bring technology to assist you. So all the things like uh, you know, advanced uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, all those things are great capabilities, but the reality is we have to realize the bad guys have all the same technology that we do. So it's not a technology problem anymore. We right, have to play right. to our strengths, play to our advantage. So this new approach, we call it business-driven security, which means Take the security incidents and apply business context to it, enabling customers to take command of their cyber risk and secure and protect what matters most. Right, so right. it's a sense of prioritization. And if we do that successfully, then we are able to keep the bad guys, you know, uh, uh, they're already inside the door, but we can curtail the damage and we can uh, detect the breaches and respond in a much more expedient manner. Right, always the problems with an arms race, right? Both people have the same amount of weapons, so it's uh, how do you use those it's weapons, how do you use the weapons more effectively. Absolutely, and, and they're, they're in, the context is super important. If you can apply business context to the way you apply that information right. and those tools, that's how you win. Now another theme that keeps coming up is kind of state-sponsored Yep. Um, threats, which yep. are different than you know, maybe kind of commercially or yep. or just yep. you know, kind of activists. Yep. That's really changing the game because it the is. resources behind those folks significantly bigger. Indeed. So you know, the, 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 there's new kind of bad guys like the nation state uh, threat actors, and their objectives are totally different, right? Their objective is not just to steal data, but to tamper with data and uh, you know, change the conversations as we saw in the case of the election right, this year, right. the presidential elections. By tampering data, you can actually shift conversations and uh, you know, influence outcomes. So it's a whole new ball game in terms of the new types of threats and new types of threat actors like nation states who are getting into the game. Yeah, I thought one of the interesting points that came up earlier in the keynote today yeah. was, I think they called it salting or spiking the algorithm yeah. with intentional bad data to send the algorithm on a path exactly. in which it really shouldn't go. Exactly, exactly. And, it, this, you know, and, and the way you respond to that is again, to back to my point around business driven security. If you have data and if you understand the business context around how that data ought to be used, 
then you're able to pr protect it and secure it and make sure it doesn't get weaponized or used against you. Right, right. Now another thing that came up in another session I attended is, is kind of the unique role that companies are in versus yeah. the government. Because yeah. even if there is state-sponsored yeah. issues going on, yeah. because many of the companies, RSA included, operate yeah. globally across a number of geos, yeah. they potentially have even more data different data to fight the threat than any one government does on its own. Indeed, and this is where sharing of information is vital. And uh, you know, along those lines, RSA is excited to announce this year that we've joined the Cyber Threat Alliance, which is a consortium of private companies who have decided that it's not the, it's not the threat intel data, it's how you use it that's going to be the differentiating factor. Right. So, in the spirit and vein of working together, we are sharing threat data with each other so that we can respond to the bad guys. Right, so give you the last word. It's yeah. uh, February 14th, happy Valentine's Day. Um, start of the new year. What are some of your priorities as you look down the, down the, uh, the road? What are we going to be talking about a year from now? It's yeah. things that are on your plate that, that you're really thinking yeah, yeah. about. Yeah, Look, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, in, in the vein of Valentine's Day, I totally love cybersecurity, <laughs> let, me, let me say that. And in terms of what we are looking forward to, look, uh, RSA is in the game to innovate and set the table and set the agenda for the cybersecurity market. We play the role of bringing the cybersecurity community together, but it's our innovation along the axis of business-driven security. We want to take that conversation, drive that into the industry, because we believe that you know, without that, we don't have a shot at beating the bad right. guys. All right, well, we're all rooting for you. Thank and everybody you. else in, in this that. building. I all right, that. He's Thanks. Rowan, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE live from RSA 2017 in downtown San Francisco. Thanks for watching. Thank you.